Uriidit, hyvää huomenta. Good morning, good morning, presidents, ministers, governors, mayors, participants, and dear friends of the Arctic. It's with great pride that we welcome you to our urban part of the Arctic and to Arctic Frontiers 2019. Tromsø enjoys welcoming the world. Yesterday was the final day of Tromsø International Film Festival, the largest one in Norway with more than 10,000 visitors and more than 70,000 tickets sold. But we are ready today to welcome new visitors. I hope you all will find some time during this year's conference to take in some of the unique sights, experiences and tastes of this city and this region. This year's theme of the conference is Smart Arctic, and I'm glad to see that reflected in the different events and discussions that will take place during the week. The coming days will present a different image of the Arctic than just icy and isolated <coughs> small communities. How do we create attractive communities through both smart technological solutions, smart government and human interaction? The people of the Arctic must have a strong voice and a central role in developing the types of smart solutions needed to define our region. Arctic uh, development must be knowledge-based, Without the Arctic knowledge, the Arctic know-how or the Arctic know-how, the chance of success will be severely limited. And that's why businesses and other stakeholders must be willing to develop and share more knowledge in all the Arctic regions. We need more R&D from the Arctic for the Arctic. In our region, we have companies, scientists, educational institutions with world-class Arctic competence, but still we always need stronger support and more tools to utilize and build local competence, skills and workforce. The driving force in the future development should be people living in the region, not workers flown in one day and out again the next. Dear conference, the future of the Arctic lies with the younger generation and I'm really, really proud to give the word to our leader of our Trums County Youth Council, Ingeborg. The floor is yours. <laughs> Dear conference, I'm grateful for the opportunity to share the stage with Willy and other decision makers scientists and other Arctic stakeholders. Thank you for the opportunity to address you all here today. This conference is one of the most important arenas for discussion and new knowledge about our common future. That is why it is so important to give us young people the chance to make our voices heard. Because as you all realize, an Arctic without young people will not be able to develop. Without young people, local communities will not be able to sustain themselves. Without young people, there won't be anyone there to apply for higher education. And without young people, the tradition, languages and ways of indigenous people will surely fade away. I do not want our Arctic to fade away. I want it to be a region that young people want to live in, to educate themselves in and to work in. My age makes me part of the generation who will be most affected by the everyday decision taken by many of you here today. Politicians, scientists, business people. My hope is that you do what you can to ensure young people and Arctic they can believe in and they want to be a part of. That means to invest in education, invest in, re in research and development, invest in culture, but most of all, invest in the future. Invest in young people. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs> <laughs>